there. That's it. That's him. Buenos tardes. I'm here to talk about a good topic because it's happening. So, it was rock and roll. So, I'm going to talk about like the unemployment benefit extension controversy because there's a controversy going on and nobody knows why. So, I'm going to give you the perceived ideas of why. Like, Republicans are trying to tie that to the oil pipeline, but it goes deeper than that. Like, so I'm gonna break out what their perceived notions are. I'm gonna break down like what really goes on. And, like if you uh, like people have the perceived notion, like especially when Bunny and a lot of these Republicans make their comments about like when you get on unemployment, you just live it up. Like you don't want to find work, and that's like not the case with. 90% of the people, like, I'll grant it to you, there are probably that 10%, and once they get on unemployment, they're just coasting until they either get kicked off or find another job. But, like, 90% of the people don't want to be on unemployment. 90% of the people want to be out there working and being a contributing member of society as far as, like, job-wise. Like, nobody wants to be without a job. We all want jobs. Like, I was on unemployment. Let me tell you, it's not as what it's cracked up to be. Like, you gotta take, you gotta take, you gotta, you gotta make cuts when you go on unemployment. Like, you gotta, like, you gotta change your whole lifestyle around. You gotta, it ain't like, like, like when I was married, like when I was married, we used to buy like a lot of shit. Like, we used to do a lot of things, but like, on unemployment, your spending got to go down dramatically because, dramatically and drastically because you're not, you're only making like 60% of what you made. Now mind you, you're making that 60% and they still got to take out taxes. And if you have some type of child support, that comes out. So mind you, you're only making 60% of what you made. And then you have your regular bills coming in, the bills that aren't going to stop because you got laid off, and you got to pay them too. So your spending habits, you got to be a little creative with your finances. You know, I hear everybody, uh, you know, complain like they aren't looking for work. Like a lot of these people are looking for work. Like, like I said, I'd say 80 to 90 percent of these people are actually out there looking for work. They just can't find it. You know, at the same time, you may be having to cut your bills. You got to suck some things up and move. To another. You might, like I said, you might have to suck it up and move. Like me personally, that's what I, I have done. I did it. Like I said, I'm like, when I got my little, when I found out I was laid off and wasn't going to get any work, like as far as what I wanted, not as far as I wanted, I don't want to say that, but let me put it as far as. I wasn't willing to work for fucking five cents an hour, five dollars an hour. So I knew the situation where I was, I could get a, I could get a medium minimum wage job like that. But I was like, nah. So what I did, I just picked up, we uprooted, and we moved to where I'm at right now. Now it didn't work out as far as relationship wise, but financially wise, it it's kind of worked out for me. And it's a blessing unto itself, you know. No, yes, I miss me. Less, yes, I miss my family. Yes, I miss all my loved ones and my friends. But at the end of the day, I have that on. I have, I have this on. I got heat in the. I got heat in the house. I got a car. I got ways to pay for the kids so they can get what they need. So it's and I'm, I'm not. I'm not out there hustling and begging for change. So. You may have to sacrifice your lifestyle, you know. And if I want to get, a, and if you want to get technical, unemployment is your right. You pay into the system, you know. As long as you follow the rules and regulations, it's your right to have it. Like a lot of people want to make you feel like you're a fucking bum because you get unemployment. Well, let me put this: I'd rather be on unemployment than be on welfare because unemployment, at least you worked for that and paid, like. 
people on welfare, I'm going to put it to this, not everybody on welfare is a welfare fund. A lot of people on welfare nowadays are like me and you, people who work, who aren't working no more, but they that's their last resort because they're tapped out and they don't want to be on welfare, but they just, what you going to do? And let me put it this way, the minute they find a job, they immediately get off of welfare. And that's the problem with it. You lump, every, you lump everybody in the unemployment, you lump everybody in the welfare circle. Yeah, there's motherfuckers. I know for a fact there's motherfuckers probably on unemployment who just coasted to the last two, one month of their unemployment. And then they get the, get the job search. By that time, it might be too late. Sure, there are people on welfare who, hell, they got fucking retirement. They're like getting letters for a silver anniversary because that's the lifestyle that they've been accustomed to. But unemployment, you know, it's, it's your right. You, you paid into it. You deserve it. Now, companies may fight you, but at the end of the day, it's your right as long as you follow the rules and regulations. So, the Republicans are making this seem like, you know, they don't want to sign an extension or, like, they're holding and, like, people need to remember this whenever they go to the vote. Like, they're trying to say this and that about the economy, but if you extend the, at least you extend your employment benefits, people will have a little bit more money. If you don't, if you don't extend them, they're going to have nothing. And you can't, Spending nothing from nothing leaves nothing. At least if you have a little bit of money on you, you can at least spend. Not like it was back in the day, but at least you're spending something. And a lot of these small businesses rely on like me and you. So, all I'm saying is unemployment ain't all what it's cracked up to be. It's a safety net. So, and quit putting people in a lump, lump them into like they're all like bums and don't want to work. Because people want to work. Trust me. So, I'm out. Later. That's it. That's him.